During state emergency missions, the title and designation of liaison officers, or LNOs, are given to guardsmen who will act as communications middlemen between the Guard's Joint Operations Center and various local, state, and federal government agencies. There's an emergency of some form or fashion. Everything is local. It all starts and it all ends local. A request for assistance comes from SEMA, so it started at that local official to SEMA, to the state, and then comes to our joint operations cell in the state headquarters of the Missouri National Guard. Then the units are alerted. At that point is when a commander contacts the unit and says, we're going to respond to this emergency. Go ahead and send out your liaison officers. They report, say, I'm here to help. What can we as the Missouri National Guard do? What are you expecting of us? It's communications of what the needs are and communications of what the capabilities are. Directing the flow of communication is a very important part of the LNO's role. We look at what they're requesting and clarify it, and we send that information up, and then our hires will determine this is what we can do. That information is sent back, and we are coordinating between our hires and the county agencies, and we say, this is what we can do for you and this is when we can do it. LNO down at the county level, if there's a state emergency duty going on and that county is out of a particular asset, say it needs more personnel to fill sandbags, that county is gonna put up a request for assistance and that's gonna ultimately go up to our state emergency management agency. That'll give us a heads up that this request could make its way to us and give us usually several hours of lead time to staff that and prepare for it. We have the ability to provide a large amount of personnel, a large amount of equipment in a short amount of time. The Missouri National Guard chose to use this liaison officer concept to better its response to assist the civil authorities. And that LNO is really the eyes and ears that provides the continuity that's needed in the response between civil authorities and the Missouri National Guard. They help to calm the crisis by assisting the civil authorities firsthand. And like all skills, being a good liaison officer is something that has to be developed and honed. It's a little intimidating at first, but over time you develop that rapport and establish those communication lines. Everything is a little slow in the beginning, but ultimately it picks up and you just start to see everybody interoperate and work towards that common goal. The Guard seeks to fit LNOs who are subject matter experts with agencies that fall under those areas of expertise. An example of this is when an emergency mission calls for a heavy amount of civilian law enforcement. The Guard uses soldiers and airmen with similar skill sets as liaisons. The 70 Troop Command has a lot of MPs. We're going to send one of those as our LNO because they're going to be more in depth. They're going to have more knowledge of what those MPs can and cannot do. The Missouri National Guard ensures that certain soldiers are ready when called upon to be LNOs by giving them regular training. A recent LNO training course covered the Web EOC computer system, which keeps government agencies informed on weather, traffic, and utility outages. So essentially it's a shared program across the state that everybody uses, both military and civilian side. So if they can log in, they have a jurisdiction status board, which essentially says this jurisdiction or this county has this many people without electricity or this many roads flooded. So they can actually go in, they can view that board, and they can also talk to that, that person right there firsthand. So Web EOC is one of the primary resources for LNO. The Web EOC system is available on mobile devices as well, ensuring liaison officers have the most current information. If an LNO has a smartphone or a tablet, and if they have even cell phone signal, even if they don't have power for a computer, they can use that system to communicate. I think that this training that we attended in the last three days gave us a better insight into how we can assist our commander and agencies that we support during operations. During hectic and stressful events, LNOs and the training they receive are proof positive that the Guard is ready when the citizens of Missouri need their assistance. They're the grease that helps make this entire engine work because information is key throughout the entire process and LNOs ensure that information flows where it needs to and when it needs to and that all the parts can keep moving with that information.